They say Bodhidharma went to China and he was shocked to see the richness of the kings and the people who are practicing Buddhism. So he knew there is no need to talk to these people because they understand only the dictionary language, the bookish knowledge, but they don't put it into practice. Like our schools and colleges, they teach the children and ask them to go back to the tuition centers to again get brainwashed. They have to come back to the home to hug and take baths together and clean the house and build up the house. And that's where the homework is. I used to tell my teachers in the school, if you give homework to, to my kids, to my residential kids, then tomorrow I will send my house things to your school as schoolwork. <laughs> So you finish your home, whatever work is there inside the school hours, not throwing it back to the to our house. First of all, Bodhidharma said he got fed up, so he, he sat facing the wall for nine years. All rubbish written by the Buddhist historians. First of all, Bodhidharma, a person who can walk thousand and miles to reach China, will never sit in one place. They cannot sit. <laughs> it is the Himalayan monks who unnecessarily sit in, in the Padmasan, in the Lock Lakes. And Dr. Dean Ornish found out sitting in one place for more than one hour is the cause of all the diseases.